What is going on YouTube? Welcome back guys to another one of my videos. So today I thought I'll give you guys some of my current favorite items that I have in my wardrobe but also just in my home, in my apartment and just to kind of show you guys what sort of I use whether it's like for skincare or like for my beard and also some of my favorite pieces that I wore during the summer and just in general that I've been rotating quite a lot. So yeah, sit tight and without further ado, let's hop into it. this is a fashion channel we're gonna start with some clothing pieces that I wore throughout the summer and just in general that I've just really enjoyed rotating now I've really gravitated towards uh, shirts this summer and my two current favorites that I really feel like I've just enjoyed wearing and enjoyed incorporating with so many different things in my wardrobe starting off we have the common Sweden shirt which you guys have uh, seen so many times uh, on my Instagram but also here on this channel and honestly you guys like for me like I always like to mention I'm I've really been trying to not shop as as much and just really get a lot of wear out of the pieces that I own so this common Sweden shirt that I got a couple years ago has been so sweet to me during the summer season not only because it's such a breathable material but also it's like see-through it's got like this really nice navy color I've just found myself wearing it a lot whether I'm pairing it with shorts or trousers uh, one thing that I've really done well this summer is just really not wear trousers and force myself to wear shorts and just find the right pair of shorts that work for me we'll get into that later uh, but yeah this common Sweden shirt has definitely been a go-to for me uh, I've also just enjoyed layering it with this Kamo Young yellow vest that again you guys have seen um, but the reason why these um, items always come back is because like i feel like you know when you have a youtube channel when you just generally are doing sort of like the instagram and youtube thing there is this pressure to always buy clothes right like i get like dms of people just asking like oh yeah like you know i'm nervous to start a channel because i feel like i don't have enough clothes and i'm always just encouraging people like no like you don't really need that big of a wardrobe for you to start doing something that you enjoy doing or that you love you know whether it's like posting pictures on Instagram or whether it's uh, YouTube or whatever it is like for me personally like you guys that follow me on here see that I consistently rotate the same things and I just try to find different ways to style them and make them look good so this Kamo Young vest is definitely gonna be such a beautiful piece to wear during the fall season but I've also gotten a bit of wear out of it during the summer season it's really one of my favorite pieces that are currently on just because I love the color. I love the yellow color. I feel like it's got such a vibrant pop of color. And also I love layering. You guys know I love layering. So this is gonna be a piece that I'm gonna incorporate a lot during the fall and winter season when it kind of starts getting dark early and you kind of just start wearing all black. I feel like this piece is gonna be great for me to just uh, wear and throw on here and there, especially because during the fall and winter season, I usually tend to wear a lot of black. So yeah. And then uh, we have the Prada shirt. Now the Prada shirt, I mean, you guys love it. I love it. And I generally feel like this is gonna be such a good piece to even transition into the fall. And I'm so happy I managed to purchase this. There was actually another Prada shirt on the Essence website that was like 70% off and I was contemplating getting it, but I decided not to. I think this one is enough, but again uh these shirts fit so amazing guys i can't express like if you honestly can save up and cop a product shirt i would highly encourage it just because the fit is absolutely amazing and this is just a shirt that personally for me i feel like over the years to come i'm always gonna find myself using it you know especially if you're like traveling and you go into a restaurant or you go into an event and you want to throw on like a vibrant color or not or a nice pop of color during those really hot summer days this shirt is definitely the one to go to. So um, for me, I feel like I love the color. I love the cut of it. And because I usually tend to wear a lot of oversize, this shirt was perfect. I got it in a size XL. I'm six foot two, about 178, 80 pounds right now. Uh, but I feel like um, you, I could have I could have gone with a large. A large would have also been fine because they do kind of fit oversized. But this has definitely been a great shirt to own. I've worn a lot of shirts during the summer because I just find that for me personally, 
it's a bit more breathable when I throw on a shirt, you know, especially on those really hot summer days. So here on this outfit, I try to show you guys how I'm going to be incorporating this shirt during the full season. Again, just a plain black blazer, some sweats, and a nice chunky pair of derbies. These Balenciaga derbies, I actually really didn't wear them all that much this summer because I was wearing mostly sneakers, but this could definitely be a look, you know? And then on those rainy days, you have my umbrella to match sort of my rings and my accessories. And again, guys, uh, accessories is something that I've definitely um, been stressing on this channel and always tell you guys like, you know, during the summer, try to accessorize as much as possible if you can, you know, because in most cases we're wearing t-shirts or shirts and I feel like a good sterling silver or gold, if you prefer gold, will always look good with an outfit. So yeah, that's really what I've been doing a lot. It's just accessorizing and just wearing like flowy shirts and it's worked perfectly for me. Uh, but yeah, on this outfit, you can see it's just super simplistic. That pop of color from the Prada shirt layered with the blazer is gonna be such a great look for me in the fall and even in the winter, you know, once it kind of starts getting a little bit too cold, maybe I can find different ways of layering the shirt as well. So yeah, um, that's it on the two shirts and the vest. And then we have the shorts. You guys have definitely seen me style shorts this summer on my Instagram, but this is actually, I feel like I kind of started getting a bit more into shorts this summer, but even last summer I was kind of already entertaining the thought and like seeing what works, what doesn't work. But this summer I definitely took it upon me to really find the right pair of shorts and things that would personally work for me. And one of the pairs that I really have been getting a lot of wear out of is my own plissé pair of shorts. This color is so beautiful, man. You guys know I love my military green or just my green color. And uh, one thing that I had kind of mentioned was incorporating more colors into my wardrobe, but also finding the right colors for my skin tone and something that would work for me. And these green shorts have been an absolute killer in my wardrobe to be honest i've managed to style them with so many different things in most cases i've been wearing them with my shirts but i threw them on with my dries van Otsen sweatshirt and the outfit looks absolutely amazing in my opinion and you know style them with a pair of sneakers but this is also a pair that i'm going to be styling with some derbies you know maybe my vet my derbies or my balenciaga derbies i love the color i love the cut i think they're very suitable for me and again uh like I always like to say, I like to buy things that I feel like I can sort of incorporate with different things in my wardrobe. And these shorts have done exactly that. Like I've been able to throw them on with just my simple Uniqlo t-shirt, like this one here on my white tee, but also some shirts, some sweatshirts. And I've also styled them with uh, my random identities blazer, a tank top and a pair of sneakers. And it looks great. Uh, the second pair is my Drôle de Monsieur, just simple black pair. I actually wanted to buy the full set with the hoodie, but the hoodie was unfortunately sold out. But this pair is also another pair that I've just been able to throw on here and there when I'm kind of going out or like doing quick errands, you know? These pair of shorts have been great. I love the minimal logo on them. Uh, I've mostly been wearing them with my uh, sneakers, but I feel like they would also look good with like a pair of boots or just some derbies. So yeah, that's it on the clothing part. We're gonna move into some other favorite items of mine that are currently on. Number one on my list on items that I currently own or have is this beautiful umbrella that was gifted to me by my uh, uh, client. It is absolutely amazing. I'll come closer so you guys can take a look. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see, but anyway, it has my name on it. Absolutely love this crystal on it and this red touch looks absolutely insane. It actually goes pretty well with my rings as well. Uh, the brand is Pasotti. For those of you that are going to probably ask in the comments. I've actually recently been using it because it had been raining quite a bit here in uh, in Montreal, but uh, it's a beautiful umbrella, man. Super happy. Probably one of my favorite accessories that I currently own. I actually posted a picture with the same umbrella with a Tom Brown outfit that looked absolutely great in my opinion, just because it kind of matched the outfit in a weird way and the uh, accessories as well. So some other favorite accessories have been my sunglasses. Uh, I recently picked up these Lueve ones, which I've generally just enjoyed wearing. I think they go super well with a lot of my outfits. I love sort of the, the, the pink blush and the chunkiness of them. They kind of remind me of the Gucci ones and I've really just loved wearing these man i've styled them with so many things in my wardrobe uh, on instagram but these have been great to own the other pair is this better feelings sunglasses which as well you guys have seen me wear countless times 
Um, they actually just recently sh uh, sent me a new pair as well that I'm gonna be styling soon. And sunglasses have just been such a good accessory to have, especially during those summer or fall days where it's like really bright outside. And I just find like, if you find the right pair of sunglasses, it would definitely elevate any look. It's kind of like wearing uh, rings or accessorizing sunglasses are definitely part of any sort of outfit that you would throw on if you find the right pair in terms of sunglasses like these better feelings one like these go with anything that i have in my wardrobe to be honest like i've honestly styled these on my instagram so many times and i will probably keep styling them throughout the fall and the winter because they just look really good um the other pair that i currently own is this better feeling one as well they recently sent me these ones too and they look great i've already styled them with a few pieces of mine i've already worn them out and they look really good can't wait to show you guys on instagram with a full outfit but here you go this is kind of what they look like nothing too crazy but i just love the detailing that they have on a lot of their glasses man they look so so clean some of the other accessories that I've actually also enjoyed wearing this summer have been socks. Uh, I started incorporating like different color socks in my wardrobe just because I really wanted to wear shorts this summer like I mentioned. So yeah, I uh, found a nice local boutique here uh, in Montreal called The Club that sells cycling short, uh, cycling socks, excuse me. And I've really just enjoyed wearing these socks, man. They're super thin, so perfect for the summer. And I've bought a couple and just been incorporating them in my different outfits uh, especially when I'm wearing like you know my uh, on plissé shorts I feel like they go really well with my Nike Zoom Fly sneakers or even like my uh, Adidas Ultra Boosts and that's been really fun man just incorporating like different color socks and just seeing what works what doesn't work I recently got a brand that sent me these tie-dye ones and a couple other ones and I haven't really started incorporating them into my uh, outfits yet but i'm sure i will soon but yeah socks have definitely been something that i've invested in this summer as i got more into socks i ended up buying these tom brown ones these are the socks they look absolutely great with the loafers but i'm gonna save that for my recent pickups video where i'm gonna go into more detail with regards to uniform and the socks and the loafers and everything else So to conclude, one other thing that I kind of wanted to touch on was what do I use for my beard? I've gotten a few questions here and there on Instagram especially, and I kind of just wanted to show you guys what my items are. So I have this bomb here by Six Man. This is a brand based out of uh, Toronto, and this is the one that I've been using honestly for the last I would probably say I've been using this one for the last three, four years. And it's just, it keeps my beard like shiny and intact. And I usually get my beard trimmed at least uh, once every two weeks or three weeks, I would say. Uh, but this beard balm, it has been absolutely great. The brand is Six Man, but you can also find it on Amazon. I'll make sure to leave a link for you guys that wanna try it. Um, it they also have an oil. Now, I don't tend to use oils that much, but recently, I've been using this Aesop one, which was gifted. This is just more so, I'll say I kind of use this one when I am going out and if I kind of want like a shiny beard, I'll maybe use this one. Uh, I usually, I don't use this one that much to be honest. I've only used it maybe twice or three times max since I've gotten it and I've had it for months. But anyway, it's pretty good if you kind of want that shiny look in your beard or hair or whatever. But yeah, that's my go-to and then to conclude, we have this Aesop cream that I've really enjoyed applying during the summer because I have quite an oily face, so I do tend to like sweat quite a bit. And this one I find is really light. It's light, it's nice to just put on so that you don't get too dry. And I've really gotten a lot of use out of this one. I usually use it during the day. And then I have another oil that I use in the evening after a face wash. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys that one as well one second. This Midnight Boost oil that I've been using for quite a while actually. And this one I really like because I use it every night after my face wash. And the current face wash that I'm using is this one right here. I think I showcased it in one of my vlogs. I usually don't tend to do face wash that much. Like it's usually maybe once or twice a week. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, these are the two that I use in the evenings. Face wash and this one is just an oil that I apply in the evening 
before dinner. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude today's video on my favorite items that I currently own or have in my wardrobe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or any suggestions on what videos you would like to see, definitely make sure to leave a comment. And as always, you guys can follow me on my Instagram where I post more daily, whether it's like outfits, architecture, fitness, definitely follow me on there, G-R-E-G-N-T-O-R-E. -E. Make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy the video, definitely helps the channel, and leave a like. Peace out.